Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the perimeter of a composite rectilinear shape. Now rectilinear just means the shape consists of right angles only. Right angle is 90 degrees. So we can see in this particular shape it only consists of square corners. And composite, in case you're wondering, just means it consists of multiple simpler shapes. So we can see if we split it either here or here, if we split it like that, you can see you've got a rectangle here and a rectangle here. And we want to find the perimeter of this shape. So remember the perimeter means the total length around the outside of the shape. Now there's two ways to do it. The one way to do it is to actually work out what the unknown lengths are. So we know what this length is, we know what that length is, we know what that length is, we know what that length is, but we don't know this length and we don't know this length. And we need those two lengths if we want to add up all the lengths to get the total perimeter. So let's think about it. This total width of the whole diagram is 29. But we know from here to here, that's nine centimeters. Look, that's nine from here to here. So what's this length gonna be? Well, if the whole thing is 29 and that's just nine, then this, must be the 29 minus the nine. So we can see that length is 20. And that length is the same as that, that's 20 centimeters. So we just sometimes need to subtract these lengths. We can do a similar thing to work out this. Can you see that the total height of the whole diagram is 13, but the height of the bottom bit, so this bit here is five centimeters. So if the height of the bottom is five centimeters, but the height of the whole thing is 13, then we can do the 13 minus the five to work out this length, and that's going to be eight centimeters. So let's check that. If we've got eight centimeters at the top, plus the five centimeters at the bottom, that's a total height of 13 centimeters. That works. And then we can just add all those lengths together. So the total perimeter is the 13 plus the nine, plus the eight, I'm going clockwise around the shape, plus the 20, plus the five, plus the 29, and that is all of them. So if we add them together, that gives us a total of 84 and the unit centimeters. So that is the final answer. Now, there is another way of doing this. If I just draw this again, kind of a secret method, that was 29 and that was 13. Now, believe it or not, we don't actually even need the nine or the five to work out the total perimeter of this. Can you see that these two lengths here, so this length here and this length here, that would be the same as if we had this length here and this length here. And to try and visualize this, imagine this was kind of a swimming pool. This rectangle was a swimming pool and you were standing at one corner of the swimming pool and you want to get to the opposite corner of the swimming pool. Well, you could either walk around that way or you could walk around the swimming pool this way. But either way, you've walked the same distance. You've walked one length and one width here. You've walked one width and one length here. You've walked the same distance. So that total length here must be the same as that total length here. And that means we could basically ignore these two lines and instead replace them with these two lines because we don't change the total length of the shape. And now we've got a much simpler shape. We've got just got one big rectangle. So if that's 13, this total length here is 13. If that's 29 at the bottom, we've got 29 at the top. And now the perimeter is just 13 plus the 29. So that's the two combined. And we want to double that because we've got two lots of them. So we do two lots of 13 plus 19. And that will give you the same answer of 84 centimeters. So if you want to use this faster method, you're welcome to. So you just use the total height of the diagram, the total length of the diagram, add them together and times by two, because you imagine the whole thing as one big rectangle.